How is this possible? Now I'm going to explain to you a little bit of the, the details of how functional medicine works. We're going to talk about the five stages of cellular deterioration, the key nutrients needed by every cell, the placebo factor, and why it actually works. And we're going to talk about the test that can find disease five to ten years earlier. This is the meat of it. This is the good stuff. All right. This is a chart that explains the deterioration of a cell. If a cell is not getting the nutrients that it needs, or if there's toxins that it's exposed to, then that cell gets stressed, all right? That cell becomes hyperactive. It's almost like it's running a marathon, trying to keep up with the responsibilities that it has. If it stays in that state too long, guess what happens? It becomes weakened. Now it's exhausted. It has run those marathons. It hasn't gotten what it wants and what it needs, and so now it's tired. It can't function the way that it used to. If it stays in that state too long, it becomes dysfunctional. So let's take the pancreas as an example. Let's say you ate 100 milligrams of sugar. Now the pancreas is supposed to make 100 milligrams of insulin because sugar is not allowed to be in the body by itself. But when we get to this dysfunctional state, the pancreas can only make about 50 milligrams. So now you've got 50 milligrams of sugar circulating through the body. What does it do? It oxidizes. It eats your arteries. It eats your nerves. It's not good. OK? Now, if the cell stays dysfunctional for too long, guess what? The nucleus of the cell becomes damaged. Now you have a mutated cell. If it's mutated, that means when it goes to replace itself, it can't replace itself with a healthy version of itself. It replaces itself with another mutated version of itself. And if it stays in that state too long, then it goes to diseased. Once it gets in a diseased state, it's nearly impossible for it to recover back to its normal state. Now here's the question I asked the doctors. Let's see if this group is as smart as they think they are. Remember I said to you 50% of the people were able to get off of their dialysis? Why did the other 50% not be able to get off their dialysis? Oh, who said that? Free book for you. <laughs> Too far gone. Yes. Because what I said to the doctors was, hypothetically, Let's, let's go with, with me on this. Let's say that in, in these patients that recovered, the 50%, let's say that 20% of their cells were stressed, 20% were weakened, 20% were dysfunctional, 20% were mutated, and 20% were diseased. Could we get the stressed ones back? Of course. They're not damaged yet. They're not diseased. So what if... The CoQ10 went in and activated these mitochondria, which are the energy producers in the cell, made the cell function again the way that it should to do its job, and now those 10, those 20% are back to normal. Could it get the weakened ones back? Sure, why not? Do the same thing there. Go into the mitochondria, activate them, get the cell functioning again, okay? Could it get the dysfunctional ones back? Why not? Sure. What are we up to now? 20, 20, we're up to 60%, right? Now we're gonna go over to the mutated ones. Do you think we can get some of them back? Yeah, some of them you could get back. Let's say we got half. We're back to 70%. Then I go over to Dr. Smith, I say, Dr. Smith, tell me, if you got 70% of the kidney working again, could you get off your dialysis? Darn tootin'. <laughs> and then everybody in the room goes, hey, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So what happened to the 50 that couldn't get off? Too many were over here. Because we didn't detect the thing soon enough. If we would have detected that this kidney was not behaving the way that it should a lot sooner, none of them would have been on dialysis in the first place. Remember that because when we talk about the tests, this is crucial. With the right tests, we won't have people on dialysis in the future. 
We won't have people getting mammograms in the future. 90% of people, women, who get breast cancer can have it totally eliminated from their lives if they just do two or three things. Is that desirable or not? 